Welcome to our episode on controller optimization and manual mode in our Movie Suite engineering software tutorial series. The basic principles for this tutorial were established in the Movie Suite tutorial entitled Starting Up a Drivetrain, i.e., a connection to the inverter has already been established and the drivetrain has been put into operation. Now we will open the project that was created in the Starting Up a Drivetrain tutorial. In the circular view display, I will now open the drivetrain that has already been put into operation. You can either open the manual mode via the Tools menu, or by clicking the Open Manual Mode button in the drivetrain. Four different modes are available. Speed Controlled Manual Mode, Position Controlled Manual Mode, Load Cycling, Cycle Mode. A constant velocity control is provided to the inverter in Speed Controlled Manual Mode. You can start or stop the motion using the Start and Stop buttons. The actual speed is displayed in blue. You can enter the set point speed using your keyboard or mouse. And a speed reversal is also carried out. All values can be changed when stationary or during operation. There are a total of four different function buttons that you can optionally activate or deactivate. You can also activate several function buttons at once. If the first function button is activated, you can release the brake. The output stage is simultaneously enabled. This means that the output stage is de-energized. Notice, warning, the drive can now move freely. You can selectively apply the brake and then enable the output stage. The second function button allows you to display and hide the values for the actual position, torque, and current. The third function button displays the status of the digital input's outputs. The fourth function button allows you to display or change the settings for acceleration, deceleration, reference travel, and the timeout time for communication with the inverter. You must perform a reference travel before you can activate position-related manual mode. Pressing the Start Reference Travel button begins the process. Now that the drive is referenced, it can now move to set point positions. Position-controlled manual mode makes this possible. Simply select the desired set point position and enter a positioning speed. Press the Start button to begin the positioning operation. You can change the acceleration deceleration value if the fourth function button is active. If the manual mode remains active, simply enter a new set point position and the drive immediately begins to travel to a new position. Load cycling is available for calculating the load moment of inertia or for manual tests. In this manual mode, the drive travels back and forth between two absolute actual positions. In other words, it constantly switches between clockwise and counterclockwise rotation.
you can edit the cycle pause if the fourth function button is active. A cycle pause is the time during which the drive pauses in one position until it travels to the other one. If the direction of rotation cannot be changed due to mechanical reasons, for example, you can use the cycle mode as an alternative to load cycling. In this process, the drive travels a previously configured cycle length, and the cycles are interrupted by the cycle pause. A relative actual position is displayed. You can reverse the direction of rotation by reversing the sign in the cycle length field. The load moment of inertia that is present on the motor shaft is often unknown. Movie Suite provides you with the ability to determine this. Since recurring strong acceleration and strong deceleration are required to do so, the load cycling or cycle mode are extremely well suited here. When the measuring accuracy has reached an acceptable value, press the End Measurement and Save Value to Device button. The calculated value will be displayed under J-Load. You can change two values in the controller optimization section, namely the stiffness and the clearance. Use the stiffness slider to set the stiffness of the speed controller. The default value that can be maintained for most applications is one. Use the clearance slider to set the clearance level of the drivetrain. You should update the inverter data on the controller if you use a MovieC controller from SEW Eurodrive. If you use another EtherCAT master, you should save the data via the FOE or File Over Ethernet interface. As a final step, save the project. Thank you very much for your interest in MovieSuite engineering software. Additional tutorials are available online.